Okay, I should have brought out a tape measure. It's probably what, seven, eight inches that way. Maybe two inches deep this way. Seven, eight inches that way. All the connectors are there. I don't want that angled up. It's dust and lint and everything else will fall into it. So I'm probably gonna mount it on its side like this underneath that kick panel. So anyways, let me see where it can go. Oh, neat little trick with this thing. There's a little catch latch right here. It okay, must be the other side. A little catch latch somewhere. You push that latch and the radio comes out of the bracket. I can't do it and hold the camera at the same time. Okay, the latch is right there on the front of the radio body. You just pull up on that and it slides right out. So instead of having a fight with that, damage that, I can leave that right on the back seat. Get the bracket up front and see where I'm going to drill my little starter holes and get it started. Pretty spiffy. Okay, this is a problem with a small vehicle. I had the 2100H mounted right here where these holes are. I got all these ugly holes. But the problem is, I do medical transportation. Clients are hitting the damn thing, hitting my volume, bending the mic cable with their kneecaps. Had to replace the mic on the 2100H, so this radio is so small. I'm gonna mount it right there. It's not gonna get in the way of my knee and my leg. I can barely even see the faceplate right there, but I want to put the faceplate up here, if at all possible. Oops, up on the dash somehow, so. Let me uh, get those holes lined up and uh, get a starter hole going. Got my drill in the back seat. Okay, what a pain in the arse. Got a drill, but broke off in there, but I forced the screw on. It's a little bit loose, but oh well, it's holding. Now on the mountain radio. <laughs> I guess I put it up a little bit higher than what I was holding it when I was videotaping it because I had to put the steering wheel up in order to get that thing into there. So anyways, it's in, but I'm not liking it up like this, but something else I can do about that. Okay, may not be the prettiest install. Got to switch out this mic hanger for the other one. I'm 3D printing. I got it in scan mode, 114-300. It came across something, so I'm going to shut it off. I bought a new micro SD card, 32 gigabyte. Already been working on a radio file on it. I'm gonna get that installed to it and uh, load that file, and then I should be good to go. Or as they say, golden. <laughs> I guess I put it up a little bit higher than what I was holding it when I was videotaping it because I had to put the steering wheel up in order to get that thing into there. So, anyways. It's in, but I'm not liking it up like this, but something else I can do about that. Okay, so I got the radio file loaded into the FTM 200. Got the body mounted down there, the faceplate up here. A little bit of finagling in the software. ADMS 15 software is a little convoluted. I'll have to do a video on that, but uh, got to load up. And I got APRS and uh, VFOB and... Hopefully, one time soon, it'll start uh, smart beaconing. Yeah, okay, may not be the prettiest install. Got to switch out this mic hanger for the other one. I'm 3D printing. I got it in scan mode, 114-300. It came across something, so I'm going to shut it off. I bought a new micro SD card, 32 gigabyte. Already been working on a radio file on it. I'm gonna get that installed to it and uh, load that file, and then I should be good to go. Or as they say, golden. Okay, so we got it set up on the dash. I think I got APRs all set up. Got the mic hanger printed off. I didn't want to use the one that came in the box. I got the radio installed down here. Doesn't interfere with my uh, driving at all. And uh, I got some frequencies programmed in it. But what I cannot do, and until you read <laughs> the SD card to the computer or the ADMS 15 software, you cannot just put the CSV file that I created on the SD card in here and download it or write it to the radio. It doesn't work that way. It's got to read from the radio. 
means I got to disconnect this, bring it inside, hook it up to the computer, read from it, and then I can write back to it. I don't want to do that. I need to find somebody with a notebook, laptop, computer to let me borrow and uh, put it in that way. So, anyways, what a pain in the arse this thing is. I thought I could just work on the uh, file on my computer, bring it out, put the SD card in, read it, save it to the radio, but nope, it doesn't work that way. Son of a gun. Only Yezu. I can't would work that way. Sure I'm about a mile and a half, mile and three quarters, that. something like that, that for my hot spot, hot running spot. 20 milliwatts. Right? It must be something to do, or you know, see, you have Sound a, like an S1, a S3, spot? but it's loud, it's readable, yeah, man. I have the open spot too, if I had to write DGID yeah. set in this friggin' yeah, mobile, which the, I don't, uh, I, I could get back into it. So there's Mary and Mike. So you got that set up with uh, Wires X then, huh? I love these guys with the high beams on. No, um, Wiretex is a totally different thing. It does not go through a hot spot. It's a uh, um, C4FM, and um, it's its own, it's its own um, thing. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but what we have is the FTM 400 gate video. And then the HRI 200 is a, it's kind of like a pod for, um, Oh, there we go. I got in group mode. It's, it's a wide range. Um, it's supposed to give you good distance um, for wires that only. It doesn't, it doesn't connect, I mean, it connects to the internet a different way. And um, uh, that's, what, that's the ACES system. Um, there is a or well, I mean, it's not Wirex exactly. It's YSF, um, which is more of the internet type of thing. I guess they that's the best way to describe it. YSF and DMR get into the room. Um, it's their bridge. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the difference in there. So we'll you. Oh, okay. I have actually seen that in my open spot, too. I've seen why... Okay, David, KB3HWM, or Stickman. Okay, 527, 526, 523. Those are the ones I tried to send you. Nothing new. Son of a beach. There's the one I sent to you. And server. Let me see if I can send this one again. Can't tell where the buttons are. I gotta push. <laughs> Not in the dark. I gotta move the camera. I can't see where it is. I'll show you this cool feature. Hit display and go back to dual displays, dual VFOs. Hit this, I got it in pan scope mode. So there's a repeater Norwich hat programmed in. That's uh, Essex up in Burlington, Tom Bridge. So what do we have for memories programmed into there? It's going through and kind of just monitoring the band scope, showing the activity. Even though I'm not seeing any activity or listening to any activity and other things, it says it's picking something up. So, pretty cool. Oh, there goes a packet.